Namaste, everyone. My name is Nuki. I'm a holistic health coach and a yoga teacher. Today, I'm going to guide you through a 30-minute hatha yoga class. This class is suitable for all levels. Let's begin in Sukhasana, easy pose, cross-legged sitting. Roll your shoulder back and down a few times and keep them away from your ear. Palm can rest on your knees. Gently close your eyes. We are just going to take a few moments here to get settled in and welcome yourself onto the mat. Gently close your eyes. Start to bring awareness inwards. Noticing the rhythm of your breath. And see if you can inhale a little deeper and exhale a little longer. Feel your belly rise up as you inhale and belly goes down as you exhale. Become one with your breath. Relax your face, relax your shoulder. Allow your spine to be long and tall. We are going to do balanced breath together here. Exhale wherever you are, empty out the lung. Take an inhale for four, three, two, one. Hold. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Pause. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Hold. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Pause. Inhale, four, three, two, one, hold. Exhale, four, three, two, one, pause. One last time, deep inhale, five, four, three, two, one, hold at the top. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Now breathe normally on your own pace. Take a deep inhale, sweep both arms up overhead, palm touch. Exhale, lower your palm down to heart center in a prayer position. And use this time to set intention for today's practice. Whatever your intention is, keep it with you for the rest of the practice. And when you are ready, let's bow forward. Namaste. I welcome you to today's practice. We are going to start by warming up our body. Take an inhale, reach both arm up overhead. Exhale, interlace the fingers. And inhale, flip the palms up to the ceiling and hold here for three breaths. Stretch the side of the body, lengthen the spine. Breathe for three, for two, for one. Now release both arms down. Now this time, right hands on your left knee left hands behind your hips take a deep inhale lift the chest exhale twist look over to your left shoulder and breathe here keep your spine long and tall one more breath 
inhale come back to center exhale shank side now look over your right shoulders this time breathe one more breath inhale come back to center now let's interlace the hands and press it at the back of your head take a deep inhale lift your chest up squeeze the shoulder blade exhale tuck your shin fold the elbows inhale lift the chest squeeze the shoulder blade exhale tuck the shin fold the elbow one more time inhale lift your chest exhale tuck the shin and hold here for three breaths feel a nice stretch at the back of your neck one more breath now inhale come back to center release your hands now right hands up right hand grabs on your left ears and pull your head toward the right side stretch the left side of your neck this time breathe for three for two for one now inhale come back to center release the right arms down we shake side left hands up grab your right ears and pull your head to the left side stretch the right side of your neck breathe for three for two for one now come back to center release the hand let's transition into tabletops make sure that your shoulders above the wrist hips above the knee fingers split wide place firmly on the mat Take an inhale, lower the belly down, arch your back, look up. Exhale, round the back, gaze between your belly button. Inhale, arch the back, look up. Exhale, round your back. Inhale, lower belly down, arch back, look up. Exhale, round the back, shoulder blade pull away from each other. One more time, inhale, arch the back, look up. Exhale, round the back. Now come back to normal tabletop, flat back. From here, let's pull your belly into your spine, engaging the core. Tuck the toes if you haven't. Now slowly lift your right legs up. Make sure your hips are square. So pull your right hips down a little. And when you're ready, lift your right left arms up. And hold here. Engaging your core. Breathe for three. For two. For one. Now slowly left palms down on the mat, step your right foot out. Make sure that your right heels is in line with your left knee. And from here, push your hips toward the heels. Maybe walk your hands a little bit forward. Breathe for three for two for one now slowly bring your right knees in come back into tabletop maybe shake your hips side to side to lose some tensions here before we go on to the other side okay now slowly engaging the core pull the belly into your spine lift the left legs up keep your hips square and slowly lift your right arms up engaging that core and hold three two 
One, slowly bring the right palms down. Step your left foot out to the side. Make sure your left heel is in line with the right knees. And from here, walk your hands a little bit forward and shift your hips toward your heels and breathe here. Feel a nice stretch on the inner thigh, inner goi of your left leg this time. One more breath. Now slowly bring your left knee in. Come back into a normal tabletops. From here, make sure your toes are tucked. Engaging that core, pull the belly into the spine. We're just going to lift both knees up and hover them about one or two inches over the mat. And we hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, push your hips up, downward facing dog. On your first down dog, you may paddle your legs Bend one knee at the time. Press into the opposite heel. Or you may sway your hip side to side. Do any variation that feel good for you. This is your own practice. Three more breaths here. And see if you can try to bring your chest closer to the thigh. Hips high to the ceiling. One more breath here. Now gaze between your hands, bend your knee, take a teeny tiny step toward the front of the mat, landing into forward fold. On your first forward fold, you may keep your feet hip width distant. You can bend your knees here and let's grab the opposite elbows. Allow your head and necks to hang heavy here. And sway your hips side to side. Release any tension you may have today. And now find your stillness. Release both hands down. Now bend your right knee and use your right hand to grab on your left angles. Left arm, reach up to the ceiling, look up. And stay here for three breaths. Feel a nice stretch on your left hamstring. One more breath. Now bring the left hands down, we change side. This time we bend the left knee. Use your left hands to grab on your right angles. Right hands reach up to the ceiling, look up. Feel a stretch on your right hamstring this time. Breathe for three. For two. For one. Now release both hands down and bend your knees a lot here and we will roll up one with a blade at the time round into your lower back middle back upper back head and next is the last thing to come up coming into mountain pose tadasana From here, let's keep your hip, your feet hip width distant. Shift your weight to your left leg. Ground down into all four corners of your left foot. Draw your right knee to your chest. And stay here. And slowly open your right hip to the side. So draw the knees to the right. Hands can be on the hips 
or you can use your right hands on your right knees for support breathe for three for two for one now slowly bend your left knee and bring your right legs all the way back lower your right foot down landing into warrior two make sure the left toes are pointing toward the front of the mat right toe point toward the right arms parallel to the mat and look forward gaze at your left fingertips from here take an inhale lean forward grip the front palms up exhale reverse your warrior right fingertips just gently touch on your thigh or on your calf left bicep by the ear keep the front knee bent inhale come back to center lower your left forearms on your left thigh exhale here tops arm swing down bring it forward and now top bicep by the ears side angle and inhale come back to warrior two this time you can straighten the front knee now take an inhale lean forward as if someone is pulling your left fingers forward and exhale lower your left hands down onto the inner shin and right arm reach up to the ceiling triangle pose and draw your right hips open inhale come back to center keep the legs as how they are and we're just gonna reverse our triangles so lower your right hands down left bicep by the ear inhale come back to center now turn your front toe in so you are in the wide-legged positions and now i want you to turn all 10 toes out 45 degrees hands can be at the heart center in a prayer position take an inhale lift the chest exhale bend your knees sing your hip low goddess pose and we're just gonna hold here for five breaths option you can keep your heels down or you can lift one heels up or both heels up three more breaths here Now slowly rise up and turn all your tense toe to the front of the mat and step your right foot forward coming into mountain pose stand at the top of the mat from here we will shift our weight onto your right legs this time gow down into all four corners of your right foot let's draw the left knee to your chest you can use your left hands to hold on the knees stay here first now slowly open your left hip left knee draw to the left side and stay find your balance here now slowly bend your right knee send your left legs all the way back and lower your left foot down 
finding your warrior two here front knees bend front thighs parallel to the mat arms parallel to the mat gaze forward now take an inhale lean forward flip the front palms up exhale reverse your warrior Inhale, come back to center, find your warrior two. Exhale, right forearm on the right thigh. Left arm sweep down, bring it forward. And now left bicep by the ear. Breathe here. We hold on to the pose, but we never hold on to our breath. Inhale, come back to center. This time you can straighten the front knee. Now send your hips to the back of the mat. Take an inhale, lean forward, lean forward. Exhale, lower the right palms down. Left arm reach up to the ceiling. Look up, triangle pose. Now keep the legs as how they are. Just bring your torso back up. Inhale. Exhale, reverse your triangle. Lower your left hands down. Right bicep by the ear. Now inhale, come back to center. From here, let's turn your front toe in so you are in a wide legged. Again, find your goddess pose. Hands can be in the heart center. Take an inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, bend both knees. If you didn't lift the heels on the first round, this time you may try to lift your heels up and hold. Now inhale, rise back up. Turn all 10 toes to the front of the mat. Step your back foot forward, coming into Tadasana. You can keep your feet hip width distance or you, this time you can bring your feet together. Inhale, soften your knees, sink your hip low, bicep by the ear, share pose. Hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Exhales, rise back up. Now we're going to start to cool down. Let's lay down on our back. Now bend both knees, knees point to the ceiling, palms on the mat, and see if you can index fingers can touch the heels. Otherwise, bring your heels closer to your hips. We are going to do a few rounds of bridge pose here. Take an inhale, lift the hips up. Squeeze that glutes. And we're going to lower our upper back down, middle back down, lower back, and hip is the last thing to come down. One vertebra at a time. Let's do it again. Take a deep inhale, lift the hips up. Squeeze that glute. Also make sure you squeeze your inner thighs. Exhale, lower down, upper back, middle back, lower back, and hips. Again, take a deep inhale, lift the hips up. Squeeze that glute. And this time try to interlace your hands behind your bum. Squeeze your shoulder blade. Bring your chest up. 
lift your hips higher squeeze that inner thigh and we hold here now lower your hips down slowly bring upper back down middle back lower backs and hips from here let's draw your knees to your chest and hug your knee to your chest Rock side to side here, just massage your back. Now find your stillness, keep your knees to your chest, extend both arms out. From here, lower both knees to the right side. Face turn toward the left side, spinal twist here. You may close your eyes if you like. We are start to cooling down already. One more breath here. Now inhale, bring both knees back to center. Exhale, lower both knees down to the left side. Face turn toward the right. Breathe. One more breath. Now slowly bring both knees back to center. Now sweep both arms between the knee and grab on the outside edge of your feet, finding your happy baby pose. And try to relax your shoulders here. If you can't really grab onto the feet, you can grab onto your ankles. And try to bring your knees closer to the mat. The sole of the feet are shining up to the ceiling. Stretching your hips here. One more breath. From here, let's bring both knees together. Hug your knees into your chest again. Take a deep inhale, lift your head up. Round yourself into a tiny, tiny ball. Exhale, release the hands by your side. Extend both legs. Allow the toes to drop to the side. Keep the shoulders away from the ears and palm face up. And gently close your eyes. This is our final resting pose, Shavasana. Just allow your body to fully relax here and let go of your physical body. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale, side it out. I will let you know when to come off from the pose. For now, just enjoy this quietness, beautiful, peaceful energy within you. Now slowly bring awareness to your physical body. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, maybe shake the head side to side. 
Let's bring both feet together. Arms reach up overhead. Take a deep inhale, stretch from your fingertips to your toes. Exhale, release. Now let's bend one knee at a time. And roll on to your favorite side. And just rest here for a couple moment. We're not trying to rush into a seated position here. Keep your awareness inwards, eyes remain closed. Press into your palms and come up into a comfortable seated position of your choice. Let's close our practice together here. Take a deep inhale, sweep both arms up, palms touch. Exhale, lower your hands down to your heart center. And use this moment to send thanks and gratitude toward yourself, toward your body, for doing something good for your body, for your mind. When you are ready, let's bow forward. Namaste. Thank you so much for sharing your energy with me. I hope to see you again in the next practice. Feel free to leave any comments and feedback for me if you have. If you want to get in touch with me, you can connect with me on trulybodymind.com or you can find me on Instagram at trulybodymind. Bye-bye for now.